With the invention of electricity, light at night has become a common and integral part of our lives. Our research examines whether even low levels of light, such as a night light, will affect your alertness, inflammation, sleep quality, and insulin resistance. So in this study, we are enrolling two types of individuals, those who do not have sleep apnea, and the other one are those with sleep apnea. And what we're gonna do is they will be randomized either to sleeping uh, in the useful condition, that means in a dark environment, or sleeping with the dim light on for seven nights in a row. Our outcomes will be your level of alertness. Uh, we were gonna do a blood draw, looking at inflammatory markers. Uh, we will look at sleep quality by making them wear an actigraph, which is like a Fitbit device. And then also uh, looking at markers of insulin resistance. There are some uh, preliminary studies, uh, mainly in animals, that show that sleeping with a night light on actually makes you gain weight. We think that if uh, the dim light is going to have an effect, it is in those individuals who are predisposed to have some inflammation, and we think it's the sleep apnea patients that may actually be predisposed to the health effect of sleeping uh, with a dim light on. Results of this study will uh, help inform and guide uh, future recommendations about the sleeping environment, not only in those who are at home, but also in hospitalized patients. So you could imagine that as a result of this research, there may be some recommendations on how lighting conditions, for example, should be in the hospital. There's no question that uh, people now sleep less hours compared uh, to a century ago. However, we don't know exactly the reason for that. In fact, it may be that you have light at night and we're a 24-hour society nowadays that uh, we sleep less than our predecessors. Our project, though, is to look at whether even low levels of light will affect human performance.